Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. This time is with the Mezco Toys MDX Blade. So let's get started, you guys. Uh, first and foremost, gotta say, if you've already loved Blade and you love the previous two or even the normal or the Toy Fair, whatever you're able to get your hands on, now is definitely the chance to get your hands on this one as we get some different stuff going on. But let's get started. I'm gonna start by saying the new vest is actually pretty nice. Like, I don't think you guys can see the amount of detail that goes in it. But if you have read the 2010 series by Victor Gershler in X-Men Rise of the Mutants, you know that Blade did a guest appearance in there. And he kind of, uh, he really started that. And uh, he really had some time to shine. And what's really cool about this figure is that it's pretty much inspired by that. So we have the uh, ball design, which had the tattoo design or the hair design, depending on how you want to go about it. But you can tell it was inspired because the vest, the look, the tactical look is when Blade was pretty much going all out war against the vampires. Also, that was a really cool version of Dracula for him to fight. And this figure definitely shows that. It's really, really dope. Now, our vest looks pretty cool. There's dabs of red here on the belt and the armor. It has a semi-gloss look. So as I move my lights around, you'll see that it kind of adjusts with the light. And it looks fantastic. One of those things that I like is that, uh, although it's not jet black, it gives you a nice uh, semi-gloss reflective look. Kind of like it how you would deal with it if you want to deal with vampires. If you're going to deal with them, you want to be able to shine a UV light on it. So it's a real tactical look to it that allows you to get that uh, that real blade basis factor on it. Now, in terms of articulation, though, our head can still look up. It can still look down. You can tilt left and right, obviously. And for those of you who wanted the bald head but couldn't get the Toy Fair one, now is definitely a chance to be able to get this one. Our arms can still go all the way up with no problem. Actually, we get an extra bit of range because there's nothing in the way to do that with the arms. So that means you'll get a full range of rotation. Our arms can rotate up either way, go all the way around. So yeah, then we have our bicep swivel and we have our double joints, obviously, to let you flex when you feel like it. One of the cool things about Blade is that he's still covered in his tattoos. So if you were worried about whether or not he'd have it, you have nothing to fear because he does. Then we still get our standard Mezco toys articulation for the wrist pegs, which float and rotate all the way around. This time, instead of them being red, they actually are silver painted on the gloves. So you actually get something different. So if you want to swap around your design or mix it up between your two blades, you actually have something you can do. As far as the torso articulation, this is where it gets a bit tricky. And we'll get into that in a second. Is that you still can twist left and right with no problem. You have a slight crunch going forward and slight movement going backwards, but it actually is all movement at the lower ab area. And then... So I'm going to have to take it off and we're going to see that in a second. But what's crazy is this is soft plastic. So there's nothing in the way of it. You don't have to worry about it messing up the app crunch. It's no real issue for it. I'm going to go further into the vest in the next segment. So we'll get into that. As far as our leg articulation, you still have that really good blade articulation where you can lift the leg all the way up. You have thigh swivel. This is latched on. So you don't have to worry about that drooping down. We have our double joint, which allows you to go forward. Then you have your boot rotation. And you have your generous ankle pivot going outward, inward, forward, and backwards, in case you didn't see it before. So, when you want to pose your guy up, your blade will look pretty good no matter what you do. Especially with that thigh cut, it adds that extra bit. So when you want to get into martial arts poses, for the most part, you should be able to get your blade all posed up with no issues. As you can see here, I've posed them up. We can do high kicks and things like that. So, let's rotate it out. Let's get that leg up. Let's see if we can balance him. I know he can balance because I've done it previously with Blade. So maybe it's a diorama, but I knew we can get Blade to balance. Yep. Ah, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, he looks good. Really, really good. Now. Real quick, you'll see the staves on the side. You actually get six of these. I want to make sure I don't miss that. But I want to show you guys something really nice. So we're going to rotate these arms up. We're going to pop this head off. And we're going to talk about what's under the armor. On your left hand side, what you're going to do is you're going to gently lift up. And you'll see that it opens up. Now we're going to gently lift over. And as you can see, it's soft plastic. So that makes it look really cool and easy to not worry about breaking it. We're just gonna lift up and over the body. And it comes right off. Then we have this cool undershirt on. Now, I really love this design. 
I love this shirt design. I know it doesn't seem like much, but it complements the pant design very well. And it shows that blade as a really cool thin body, but it's highly still articulated and still moves. So when we talk about our ab crunch, you actually can see it now as it moves forward. That's something we couldn't see before with the vest. So that's actually something we can get off with no problem. So not only does it come off, so it gives you options for adding the jacket or doing other cool stuff. We'll get into those things in a second. Also, I want to talk about that. Uh, we can test and see if it's magnetized in the back as well, too. Because for this blade, we actually get it on the back of his armor. So for his sword, we'll get into that in a second. So let's test and see if it's actually still magnetized in the back. And this one is not magnetized in the back. So that's going to be the big difference between this blade and the previous blades. This one doesn't have the magnet in the back because it is on the armor. So you can't get that look that you wanted to get before. So keep that in mind, you guys, right? Next up, we're going to talk about other accessories. And let's get into that now. Now we get a the other bald head. This is the same head that you got with the Toy Fair blade. It's all packed in very nicely. And I really like this design of this head. Even if you would have given this hair, I really like the way this one came out. I think it's a really nice look. Next up, like I talked about with the, sta the stakes, you actually get six. Here's the other three that you got from before. You get twin glaze, so that means you'll get two. You'll get one of these. They actually can fold up and get compact. You can actually put these in the sides. And Blade is able to reach around to grab them as well, too, because he has that extra articulation. So as you can see, they store it real well on the side. Next up, we're going to talk about some of the firearms that he gets. We actually have Blade's pistol. And this is the pistol that also came with the Toy Fair. This time it's in a black and silver motif, which is really dope. You can pull the chamber back. And you get a removable magazine. And what's cool about the magazine, and I, I don't know if I noticed it before or, or noticed it right before the video, but as you remove the magazine, you actually have silver bullets. So they made sure to add that in on all of his weapons. And it stores right here on his right hand side holster. Let's actually pull that chamber back down. So as you can see, you gotta give it a little bit of nudge in there, but it fits in. And voila, there we go. Now, next up, we're going to go with his shotgun. This also has a black and silver design. You can actually move this back and forward. Then we have submachine gun. This one has a more gray detail. Again, packed with silver bullets. And you also get an extra magazine for both the handgun and the submachine gun. You'll also get two blast effects. You'll get the single pistol effect with a silver bullet at the end. And then you'll also get the uh, bigger blast effect. I've always loved Mexico's blast effects. They did an excellent job on those. Now, next up, you'll also get the blade sword. Comes with the sheath as well. And just like on the armor, what we can do is we actually talk about how it connects in and it holds its weight really well. Last but not least, we're going to talk about blade still comes with his signature sunglasses. So don't think that he doesn't. This time they're actually packed in red. And this again, if you have gotten both your blades or if you got the normal one, you are able to switch up at any time you want. You can choose the black ones if you want, but this guy comes with black and red ones. And as you can see, Blade looks really cool with his shades, whether black or red. And if you wanted to know, the head peg is still the same. So if you wanted to just swap on a normal head, you can. That way you have a good look about your blade. But let's put back on the normal head and let's go over the hands very quickly. So you'll get the two fingered hand, well, You'll get the main two hands. This is going to be a martial arts or action hand. Then you actually get a martial arts hand. This is going to be the open palm. You'll actually get two trigger fingers. These are the open trigger fingers, not the, these are ones for use for shotgun or in a resting balance mode. You actually get the standard right hand shooting hand. You'll get the hand for holding the shotgun for two hands. You get karate chopping hand. Karate chopping action is always welcome for me. You'll get a stake holding hand with the thumb out, but you could also use as a thumbs up hand. And then you'll get 
natural uh, stake holding hands or glaive hands, depending on which, which item you want to put in there. Real quick though, I'm going to alternate, take a second to put back on the vest, and then we're going to jump into our size comparisons. Now we're going to jump into our size comparisons, but first and foremost, the first thing that I very much would like to do is compare Blade to his previous counterparts from Mezco, so that way you can get a greater, uh, I guess, an appreciation for Blade. The fact that we've gotten now three of them is really cool, and I really enjoy the fact that we're giving Blade some shine, because he definitely deserves it. So, here we are with our normal Blade. Took off the jacket so you can see the look. Then we have our Toy Fair one. And then last but not least, we have now the new MDX one. The jacket still fits on Blade. Uh, it's just obviously you have to take off the extra vest because of the back piece. So with that being said, let's move these guys out of the way and let's compare Blade to other stuff that's out there. So you can see how it looks stacked up. First, if you want to compare it to some other Mezcos, here he is with a Mezco Doctor Strange. And then here he is with a Mezco Me based off of a Gomez body. So I want these guys to do a lot of team ups so as you see these guys, that's a Special Ops Gomez. So it's a slightly bit taller than other Gomez. Next up, we have a six inch Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Then we have a G.I. Joe Snake Eyes from Hasbro. So we have these two to compare. Got to change that pose up on Snake Eyes. Next up, we're going to do a synthetic human from 1000 Toys. Then we're going to do an Articulated Icons Ninja. Because you never know when you have to fight Vampire Ninjas, right? I say you got to give it a try. Then we're going to do a NECA Evil Dead Demon Spawn. Because he doesn't just fight vampires. Now that Blade is on the Avengers, and he actually does have this look with, with the hair now, it's really cool to see it. Then we have an SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Vulcan. So as you can see, SHF is pretty small, but Blade actually fits in no matter what, at least to me, because I'm going to have fun with him. Next up, we have a Mythic Legions Vorgus with a vampire head. I want him to look like Dracula did when he fought him, and I think these two are going to be a very good comparison. Then we have another Mythic Legion, the Barbarian Girl. So you can see size-wise, Blade actually fits in pretty well with most lines. So if you... Ooh, let's fix that. So if you have blade previously and you really want to add a compliment to another blade, this is going to be perfect for you. Or even if you missed out, this is definitely a blade that I would cop because I love the look of it with and without the vest. So it's very much great to add it on. If you guys have missed out, trust me, you don't want to miss out on this one. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying. Special thanks to Mexico Toys as usual. And as always, be good, do good. Drink your water, guys. Later.